The early Buddhist schools are those schools into which the Buddhist monastic Sangha initially split, due originally to differences in Vinaya and later also due to doctrinal differences and geographical separation of groups of monks. The original Sangha split into the first early schools generally believed to be the Stavira Nikaya and the Mahasamgika a significant number of years after the passing away of Gautama Buddha. According to scholar Kalik Cox, most scholars would agree that even though the roots of the earliest recognized groups predate Ahsoka, their actual separation did not occur until after his death. Later, these first early schools split into further divisions such as the Sarvastivadins and the Dharmaguptakas, and ended up numbering, traditionally, about 18 or 20 schools. In fact, there are several overlapping lists of 18 schools preserved in the Buddhist tradition, totaling about twice as many, though some may be alternative names. It is thought likely that the number is merely conventional. The textual material shared by the early schools is often termed the early Buddhist texts and these are an important source for understanding their doctrinal similarities and differences. <laughs> <laughs> Developments in history <laughs> The First Council According to the scriptures Kulavaga 11.1 FF, three months after the passing of Gautama Buddha, the first council was held at Rajagaha by some of his disciples who had attained arahantship. At this point, Theravada tradition maintains that no conflict about what the Buddha taught occurred, the teachings were divided into various parts and each was assigned to an elder and his pupils to commit to memory. The accounts of the council in the scriptures of the schools differ as to what was actually recited there. Purana is recorded as having said, Your reverences, well chanted by the elders are the Dhamma and Vinaya, but in that way that I heard it in the Lord's presence, that I received it in his presence, in that same way will I bear it in mind. Vinaya Pataka, Kulavaga 11, 111. Some scholars deny that the First Council actually took place. The Second Council The Second Buddhist Council took place approximately 100 years after Gautama Buddha's Parinirvana. Virtually all scholars agree that the Second Council was a historical event. Traditions regarding the Second Council are confusing and ambiguous, but it is agreed that the overall result was the first schism in the Sangha, between the Stavira Nikaya and the Mahasamgikas, although it is not agreed upon by all what the cause of this split was. Period between the Second and Third Councils The textual sources agree that the first split was between the Saint Havoravada and the Mahasamgika. However, after this initial division, more were to follow. Some modern scholars argue that the first split occurred in the intervening period between the Second and Third Councils, and was probably about monastic discipline. However, only two ancient sources the Dipavamsa and Bhavya's third list place the first schism before Ahsoka, and none attribute the schism to a dispute on Vinaya practice. <laughs> third Council under Ahsoka Tradition largely holds that Buddhism split into 18 schools, but different sources give different lists of them, and scholars conclude that the number is merely conventional. Theravadan sources state that, in the 3rd century BCE, a third council was convened under the patronage of Ahsoka, but no mention of this council is found in other sources. Some scholars argue that there are certain implausible features of the Theravadan account which imply that the third council was ahistorical. The remainder consider it a purely Theravada Vibhajavada council. It is generally accepted, however, that one or several disputes did occur during Ahsoka's reign, involving both doctrinal and disciplinary vinaya matters, although these may have been too informal to be called a council. The Stavira school had, by the time of Ahsoka, divided into three sub-schools, doctrinally speaking, but these did not become separate monastic orders until later. According to the Theravadan account, this council was convened primarily for the purpose of establishing an official orthodoxy. At the council, small groups raised questions about the specifics of the Vinaya and the interpretation of doctrine. The chairman of the council, Magaliputta Tissa, compiled a book, the Kathavathu, which was meant to refute these arguments. The council sided with Magaliputta and his version of Buddhism as orthodox, it was then adopted by Emperor Asoka as his empire's official religion. In Pali, this school of thought was termed Vibhajavada, literally, thesis of those who make a distinction. 
The distinction involved was as to the existence of phenomena dhammas in the past, future and present. The version of the scriptures that had been established at the Third Council, including the Vinaya, Sutta and the Abhidhamma Pitakas collectively known as the Tripitaka, was taken to Sri Lanka by Emperor Asoka's son, the Venerable Mahinda, there it was eventually committed to writing in the Pali language. The Pali Canon remains the most complete set of surviving Nikaya scriptures, although the greater part of the Sarvastivadin Canon also survives in Chinese translation, some parts exist in Tibetan translations, and some fragments exist in Sanskrit manuscripts, while parts of various canons sometimes unidentified, exist in Chinese and fragments in other Indian dialects. Topic. Developments during and after the Third Council Whatever might be the truth behind the Theravadan account, it was around the time of Asoka that further divisions began to occur within the Buddhist movement and a number of additional schools emerged, including the Sarvastivada and the Samadhiya. All of these early schools of Nikaya Buddhism eventually came to be known collectively as the Eighteen Schools in later sources. Unfortunately, with the exception of the Theravada, none of these early schools survived beyond the late medieval period by which time several were already long extinct, although a considerable amount of the canonical literature of some of these schools has survived, mainly in Chinese translation. Moreover, the origins of specifically Mahayana doctrines may be discerned in the teachings of some of these early schools, in particular in the Mahasangika and the Sarvastivada. During and after the Third Council, elements of the Stavira group called themselves Vibhajavadins. One part of this group was transmitted to Sri Lanka and to certain areas of southern India, such as Vanavasi in the southwest and the Kanchi region in the southeast. This group later ceased to refer to themselves specifically as Vibhajavadins, but reverted to calling themselves Thuriyas after the earlier Theras Staviras. Still later, at some point prior to the Dipavamsa 4th century, the Pali name Theravada was adopted and has remained in use ever since for this group. The Pujalavadins were also known as Vatsiputriyas after their putative founder. Later this group became known as the Samadhiya school after one of its subdivisions. It died out around the 9th or 10th century CE. Nevertheless, during most of the early medieval period, the Samadhiya school was numerically the largest Buddhist group in India, with more followers than all the other schools combined. The Sarvastivadin school was most prominent in the northwest of India and provided some of the doctrines that would later be adopted by the Mahayana. Another group linked to Sarvastivada was the Sautrantika school, which only recognized the authority of the sutras and rejected the Abhidharma transmitted and taught by the Vaibhasika wing of Sarvastivada. Based on textual considerations, it has been suggested that the Sautrantikas were actually adherents of Malasarvastivada. The relation between Sarvastivada and the Malasarvastivada, however, is unclear. Etienne Lamott divided the mainstream Buddhist schools into three main doctrinal types. The personalists, such as the Pujalavadin Vatsiputriyas and Samatiyas. The realists, namely the Theravada and Sarvastivada Abhidharmikas. The nominalists, for instance, the Mahasamgika Prajnaptivadins, and possibly non Abhidharma Saint Havaravadins. Between the 1st century BCE and the 1st century CE, the terms Mahayana and Hinayana were first used in writing, in, for example, the Lotus Sutra. <laughs> <laughs> Mahayana members Although the various early schools of Buddhism are sometimes loosely classified as Hinayana in modern times, this is not necessarily accurate. According to Jan Nadir, Mahayana never referred to a separate sect of Buddhism SKT, Nikaya, but rather to the set of ideals and doctrines for bodhisattvas. Paul Williams has also noted that the Mahayana never had nor ever attempted to have a separate Vinaya or ordination lineage from the early Buddhist schools, and therefore each Bisu or Bisuni adhering to the Mahayana formally belonged to an early school. Membership in these Nikayas, or monastic sects, continues today with the Dharmaguptaka Nikaya in East Asia, and the Malasarvastivada Nikaya in Tibetan Buddhism. Therefore, Mahayana was never a separate rival sect of the early schools. Paul Harrison clarifies that while Mahayana monastics belonged to a Nikaya, not all members of a Nikaya were Mahayanists. From Chinese monks visiting India, we now know that both Mahayana and non-Mahayana monks in India often lived in the same monasteries side by side. 
Additionally, Isabella Onians notes that Mahayana works rarely use the term Hinayana, typically using the term Sravakayana instead. The Chinese Buddhist monk and pilgrim Yijing wrote about relationship between the various vehicles and the early Buddhist schools in India. He wrote, There exist in the West numerous subdivisions of the schools which have different origins, but there are only four principal schools of continuous tradition. These schools are namely the Mahasamgika Nikaya, Stavira, Malasarvastavada and Samadhiya Nikayas. Explaining their doctrinal affiliations, he then writes, "...which of the four schools should be grouped with the Mahayana or with the Hinayana is not determined." That is to say, there was no simple correspondence between a Buddhist monastic sect, and whether its members learn, "...Hinayana," or "...Mahayana," teachings. The Chinese pilgrims During the first millennium, monks from China such as Faxian, Zanzong, and Yijing made pilgrimages to India and wrote accounts of their travels when they returned home. These Chinese travel records constitute extremely valuable sources of information concerning the state of Buddhism in India during the early medieval period. By the time the Chinese pilgrims Zanzong and Yijing visited India, there were five early Buddhist schools that they mentioned far more frequently than others. They commented that the Sarvastivada, Malasarvastivada, Mahasamgika, and Samadhiya were the principal early Buddhist schools still extant in India, along with the Stavira sect. The Dharmaguptakas continued to be found in Gandhara and Central Asia, along the Silk Road. Topic: The eighteen schools. It is commonly said that there were 18 schools of Buddhism in this period. What this actually means is more subtle. First, although the word, school, is used, there was not yet an institutional split in the Sangha. The Chinese traveler Zanzong observed even when the Mahayana were beginning to emerge from this era that monks of different schools would live side by side in dormitories and attend the same lectures. Only the books that they read were different. Secondly, no historical sources can agree what the names of these 18 schools were. The origin of this saying is therefore unclear. What follows are the lists given by each of the different sources. Topic. According to the Dipavamsa This list was taken from the Sri Lankan chronicles, Dipavamsa 3rd, 4th century CE and Mahavamsa 5th century CE. Saint Havoravada, Vibhajavada, Theravada, Mahisasaka, First Schism, Sarvastivada, Third Schism, Kasyapaya, Fourth Schism, Sankrantika, Fifth Schism, Sadarantika, Sixth Schism, Dharmaguptaka, Third Schism, Vatsiputriya, First Schism, Dharmatariya, Second Schism, Bhadrayaniya, Second Schism, Sanagarika, Second Schism Samadhiya, Second Schism Mahasamgika Gokalika, First Schism Prajnaptavada, Second Schism Bahusrutiya, Second Schism Ekaivaharikas, First Schism Kadika, Third Schism, according to Dipavamsa, but in the Mahavamsa it is said to have arisen from the Panati and Bahasudakane edition. The Dipavamsa lists the following six schools without identifying the schools from which they arose. Hemavataka Sanskrit Hemavada Rajagriya Siddhattaka Pubhasliya Aparasalya Sanskrit Aparasala Aparajajorika Topic According to Vasumitra This list was taken from Samayabedo Parakana Kakra the author of which was Vasumitra died 124 BCE a Sarvastivadin monk Saint Havoravada Hemavada, first schism, referred to by Sarvastivadins as the original Stavira school, but this school was only influential in the north of India. Sarvastivada, first schism Vatsiputriya, second schism Dharmatariya, third schism Bhadrayaniya, third schism Samadhiya, third schism Sanagarika, third schism Mahisasaka, fourth schism Dharmaguptaka, 5th schism Kasyapaya, 6th schism Sadarantika, 7th schism Mahasamgika Ekaivaharikas, 1st schism 
Lokateravada, first schism Gokalika, first schism Bahusrutiya, second schism Prajnaptavada, third schism Kadika, fourth schism Apara Sela, fourth schism Atara Sela, fourth schism Topic. According to Vanithadeva Vanithadeva c. 645 was a Mulasarvastivadin monk. Saint Havoravada Jetavaniya Abhayagiravasan Mahavaharavasan Samatiya Korukalaka Avantika Vatsiputriya Sarvastivadin Mulasarvastivadin Kasyapaya Mahisasaka Dharmaguptaka Bahusrutiya Tamarasatiya Vibhajivadin Mahasamgika Purvasela Aparasela Hamavada Lauderavadin Prajnaptavada Topic. According to the Saraputraparaparsha The Saraputraparaparsha is a Mahasamgakan history. Saint Havoravada Sarvastivada Mahisasaka Dharmaguptaka Savarsa Vatsiputriya Dharmatarika Bhadrayaniya Samatiya Sanagarika Kasyapaya Sutravadin Samkrantika Mahasamgika Vyavahara Lokateravada Gokalika Bahusrutiya Prajnaptavada Mahadeva Kadika Uttarashila Topic. Twenty schools according to Mahayana scriptures in Chinese Saint Havoravada Shang Zuo Bu was split into eleven sects. These were, Sarvastivadin, Shuo Yi Kiyu Bu Hamavada, Shui Shan Bu Vatsiputriya, Du Zi Bu Dharmatara, Fa Shang Bu Bhadrayaniya, Xian Zhou Bu Samadhiya, Zheng Liang Bu Chanagirika, Mi Lin Shan Bu Mahisasaka, Wada Bu Dharmaguptaka, Fa Zhang Bu Kasyapaya, Yin Guang Bu Sautarantika, Jing Liang Bu Saint Havoravada, later Hamavada, Sarvastivadin, Vatsiputriya, Dharmatara, Bhadrayaniya, Samadhiya Chanagirika Mahisasaka Dharmaguptaka Kasyapaya Sautarantakamahasamgika Da Zhang Bu was split into nine sects. There were, Ekaivaharika, Yi Shuo Bu Loka Taravadan, Shuo Chu Shi Bu Gokalika, Ji Yin Bu Bahusrutiya, Duo Wen Bu Prajnaptavada, Shuo Fan Bu Kadika, Ji Duo Shan Bu Aparasela, Shi Shan Zhu Bu and Uttarasela. Bei Shan Zhu Bu Mahasamgika Ekaivaharika Kadika Lokateravadan Aparasela Gokalika Uttarasela Bahusrutiya Prajnaptavada Topic. Hypothetical combined list Saint Havoravada Pujalavada c. 280 BCE Vatsiputriya during Asoka later name Samadhiya Dharmatarya Bhadrayaniya Sanagarika Vibhajavada prior to 240 BCE during Asoka Theravada C 240 BCE Kasyapaya after 232 BCE Mahisasaka after 232 BCE Dharmaguptaka after 232 BCE Sarvastivada C 237 BCE Kasyapaya after 232 BCE Mahisasaka after 232 BCE Dharmaguptaka after 232 BCE Sautrantika between 50 BCE and C 100 CE Malasarvastivada 3rd and 4th centuries Vaibhasika Mahasamgika Ekaivaharikas during Asoka Lokateravada Gokalika during Asoka, Bahusrutiya late third century BCE, Prajnaptavada late third century BCE, Kadika mid first century BCE, Aparasela, 
Atara Salinoted Canadian Buddhist scholar A.K. Warder University of Toronto identifies the following 18 early Buddhist schools in approximate chronological order: Saint Havoravada, Mahasamgika, Vatsiputriya, Ekavyavaharika, Gokalika, aka Kukudika, etc., Sarvastivada, Lokottaravada, Dharmatariya, Bhadrayaniya, Samadhiya, Sanagarika, Bahusrudiya, Prinaptavada, Mahisasaka, Hemavada, aka Kasyapaya, Dharmaguptaka, Kadika, and the Apara and Atara Purva Sela. Warder says that these were the early Buddhist schools as of circa 50 BCE, about the same time that the Pali Canon was first committed to writing and the presumptive origin date of the Theravada sect, though the term Theravada was not used before the 4th century CE. See John Susito, What is Theravada? 2012. See also AK. Warder, Indian Buddhism, 3rd Rev. Ed. Delhi, Mudalal Banarsidas, 2000, chapters 8 and 9. Topic. Legacy The Theravada school of Sri Lanka, Burma, and Thailand is descended from the Saint Havoravadan and, more specifically, the Vibhajavada school. It underwent two more changes of name. In the Indian accounts it is sometimes called the Tamraparnia translation, Sri Lankan lineage, but there is no indication that this referred to any change in doctrine or scripture, while it is very obvious that it refers to geographical location. At some point prior to the Dipavamsa 4th century, the name was changed to Theravada, probably to re-emphasize the relationship to the original Saint Havoravada, which is the Sanskrit version of the Pali term Theravada. The Theravada school is the only remaining school which is exclusively aligned with the philosophic outlook of the early schools. However, significant variation is found between the various Theravadan communities, usually concerning the strictness of practice of Vinaya and the attitude one has towards Abhidhamma. Both of these, however, are aspects of the Vibhajavadan recension of the Tipitaka, and the variation between current Theravada groups is mainly a reflection of accent or emphasis, not content of the Tipitaka or the commentaries. The Tipitaka of the Theravada and the main body of its commentaries are believed to come from or be heavily influenced by the Saint Havaravadins and especially the subsequent Vibhajavadins. The legacies of other early schools are preserved in various Mahayana traditions. All of the schools of Tibetan Buddhism use a Malasarvastivada Vinaya and study the Sarvastivadin Abhidharma, supplemented with Mahayana and Vajrayana texts. Chinese schools use the Vinaya from the Dharmagupta school, and have versions of those of other schools also. Fragments of the canon of texts from these schools also survive such as the Mahavasta of the Mahasangika school. Discussion on the difference in their views includes Kathavathu and the Chinese or Tibetan translation of Samyabedo Parakanakakra, Yibu Zong Lun Lun Abhidharmamahavabhasa Sastra, Da Pai Po Sha Lun Abhidharmakosa Sastra, Jushi Lun Abhidharma Nayayanusara, Shun Zheng Li Lun Abhidharma Kosa Samaya Pradipika, Xian Zong Lun, etc. See also Athakavaga and Parayanavaga Buddhist councils History of Buddhism Nikaya Buddhism Piranism Rhinoceros Sutra Schools of Buddhism Timeline of Buddhism Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Sources Topic. Further reading Coogan, Michael D. Ed. 2003. The Illustrated Guide to World Religions. Oxford University Press. ISBN 1-84483-125-6, CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link. Dhammananda, K. Shri 1964. What the Buddhist Believe PDF. Buddhist Mission Society of Malaysia. ISBN 983-40071-1-6. Gethin, Rupert Foundations of Buddhism. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-289223-1. Gunaratana, Bhante Henapola Mindfulness in Plain English. Wisdom Publications. ISBN 0-86171-321-4.
Lowenstein, Tom. 1996. The Vision of the Buddha. Duncan Baird Publishers. ISBN 1 903296 91 9. Thich Nhat Hanh, 1974, The Heart of the Buddha's Teaching, Broadway Books, ISBN 0 7679 0369 2. Thurman, Robert A. F. Translator, 1976. Holy Teaching of Vimalakirti, Mahayana Scripture. Pennsylvania State University Press. ISBN 0 271 00601 3. Walpola Rahula 1974, What the Buddha Taught, Grove Press ISBN 0-8021-3031-3. Yamamoto, Kosho translation, revised and edited by Dr. Tony Page. The Mahayana Mahapurnirvana Sutra, Nirvana Publications 1999-2000, CS1 maint, multiple names, authors list link. Yin Shun, Young H. Wing, Translator 1998, The Way to Buddhahood, Instructions from a Modern Chinese Master, Wisdom Publications ISBN 0-86171-133-5. External links The Sects of the Buddhists. Rhys Davids. T. W. The Journal of the Royal Asiatic Society, 1891. pp. 409 to 422 sects and sectarianism the origins of buddhist schools